it's Dave. So, uh, just finished a hunt in uh, West Virginia. I go to Ohio and stay with my friend uh, Dave and uh, Dave Wetzel and his wife Tracy. And um, they live in Ohio, but he leases property in West Virginia, and that's, that's where we hunt. Check this brute out. So it's a Can-Am 6x6. Look at that, man. That's amazing. Now, folks, watch this. This is how you get corn. like a drive through feed store. Here's my view from the deer stand. You can see where I'm sitting. It's an intersection of logging trails. And so uh, right in front of me, and then there's one to the left, one to the right, and then one that goes up the um, hill and up to the hill crest. Um, last year, the buck that I shot came down that hill. And so um, it's always been a pretty active area. So looking forward to the hunt. Um, just giving you a look around to it. So you can see the same views that I have. So this all happened really fast. This buck came up behind the stand where I was and walked back and forth. It seemed like it went on forever, but probably it was only a couple minutes he was there. Finally, he edges out into the uh, my field of view and then uh, towards the uh, um, pile of corn. So this deer uh, just slow walks it away from the um, spot where it's shot and walks down the hill really slowly and then lays down by a log. And you'll see that here in just a second. Again, the arrow that will point to where he sets down. 
to the weather conditions that night were, uh, as I'm sitting in the stand, it's in the low 60s and uh, fairly breezy. Um, so uh, not the best conditions, but definitely not the worst either. As I get older, my blood seems to get thinner and uh, I definitely feel the chill that night in the air. Dave and Tracy hunted that evening as well. Dave saw chipmunks and then Tracy had a nice buck come in that was uh, scared off by an ATV. The deer slow walked down the hill to this log and sat. You can see its um, head sitting there. Um, it sat there for probably five, five minutes or so. Then it slowly gets up and then walks down the rest of the, down to the bottom of the hill. And uh, that's where, uh, where I ended up harvesting it from. So, uh, yeah, it was uh, not instantaneous, but um, that deer was expired within the hour. So. so here are some pictures of me with the deer and also me and Dave with the deer. And then, um, big pan buck on ya. Good morning, Izzy. Aren't you the cutest little thing? Is you are, baby. Good morning, Peanut. Aren't you the cutest thing too, huh? You're waiting for some bacon, aren't you? Hey, so I'm back again. Driving home, I got about a seven hour drive. Dave and Tracy are excellent hosts. Dave's an excellent cook. Man, if I got something dirty, Tracy washed, washed my pants or shirts or whatever. And, I mean, everything was taken care of. They're, super generous kind people so I really appreciate them uh, letting me come and spend some time with them uh, it's a good time all around uh, enjoy the conversations and stuff uh, Dave's got a lot of medical stuff and so just Tracy we all do as we get older I guess but you know pray that their stuff what's ailing them uh, gets better so but I really appreciate them to me like that. It was a lot of fun. Um, I wish I did a better job of capturing this hunt, but yeah, it's the way it goes. Things happen much faster, different than you anticipate, so I wasn't as prepared to live and learn. Um, but I 